This, this is a pay request for Broad Stipe. Thank you so much for that, man. And for those interested requests in any type of videos or topics, reactions, commentaries, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And I'm laughing because, number one, this cover here is an entire fucking lie. Kurt Angle is in the movie, The Wrestler. He does not wear that outfit. He's got some SWAT, Navy SEAL, commando, soldier guy. He's a sheriff of a small town. Uh, there, that creature is not in the movie. It's three people called the Jacob Boys, looking like they're covered in shit. Two of them played by wrestlers, Kevin Nash and Psycho Sid. And only one of them has a line, something like, we're already dead. And they're just there to stare and look goofy with their fucking, like, gray hair and covered in shit. And this is such an awful, awful goddamn film. Maybe that's why, whether before or after this, I watched Steel with Shaquille O'Neal, and it's a bad film, but I laughed at it. How could you even do that? Because I watch shit like this. <laughs> Where the beginning is this lady, she was asked to leave college because her friends died. She's narrating. Then it cuts. And we don't see her for like 40 fucking minutes. And even then she's barely a character in the movie. Because it goes to the small town. Sheriff. Kurt Angle. Where, which nobody in town likes him. He's investigating these murders. And the first murder is this waitress with some weed on her. And the three Jacob boys are on to her. She gets stabbed. Pretty much lifted up. You see her feet. And you see blood drip onto the ground. And they find her body. She's been gutted and crucified with Hicks. H-I-X written on it. For a second I thought they didn't spell it right. I thought they meant Hicks as in H-I-C-K-S. I'm like, yeah, these are a bunch of Hicks. It's their fault. No, Hicks is a name. And really the entire film is Sheriff Kurt Angle goes to a person that gets some info. They don't want to tell him anything. Then he goes to this other person. They don't want to tell him anything. Then he goes to his bait shop. He tells him a little bit. Kurt tells him the whole story, but he doesn't so that Kurt Angle could go there two or three more fucking times for him to finally tell the whole goddamn story. Intermixed with What's a Blue Moon some random people get killed. Where it almost looks like the same spot with some fog machine and you have these three guys which you barely see them. They got axes or knives. You barely see any door. You see a little bit of I mean, the people get killed. Psycho Sid st stabs one guy and Psycho Sid looks like he's having an orgasm. Kevin Nash looks like he's the fucking Oz from when he was WCW with his fucking hair. Look at more silly than frightening. And also, why do you have so many wrestlers in here if there's no action, there's no fight scenes, let alone no wrestling moves? So you get, well, actually, there's four wrestlers because Glacier. Remember Glacier from WCW? He's in this as a guy who he runs a diner. I guess he was up for the sheriff position, but he lost a turn angle. Even though by the end, Glacier stops it. Really, he stops the killings. Kurt Angle doesn't do shit. Kurt Angle didn't do shit. Glacier, you know what? He should have won sheriff. Cause he stepped up. Did what needed to be done and stopped it. Glacier won. That's probably the only time you ever hear Glacier winning. <laughs>
that's the character that tried to be the Sub Zero more common WCW and didn't last long. And this movie is meandering, it's boring, it's shot poorly, and the cinematography, the look looks like crap and cheap. I don't know if it's the color timing, the, the what they use to film it, whatever it is. When people talk, at times there are awkward pauses. I looked at one review and he said it best. You know you're playing a video game and you haven't quite pushed the button yet for them to keep talking? That's what it seems like at times, like they're paused, you know, oh shit. And then they talk. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. So, Kurt, Sheriff Kurt Angel is just looking lost, wandering around from this religious lady to this bait shop owner to people in the diner who made fun of him to the glacier who says, we need to get this stuff done. What are you going to do about it? Apparently nothing. He's in over his head. And then once in a while someone dies. Whether it be these two redneck guys where the one's like, where's my beer? He doesn't say my, he says ma. Where's my beer? Like two river rats or... I thought they were boat repairmen because they're by a place, a big sign that says boat repairs. Where's my beer? Your beer's up your ass because they just killed you. There's your beer. One gets an axe to the back, which sounds gorier than it is. A kid dies off screen. And, oh yeah, 30, 40 minutes in, remember the girl at the beginning? You probably already forgot. She comes back in with two other guys and their ghost chasers. I don't know why this was even in the movie. Because it accomplished nothing. Because they're in the war for a little bit. One of their buddies gets pulled down to their death. Then you don't see anything till the very end where Kurt Angle's on a boat with this other guy. They get the two people in. The other ghost chaser guy gets killed. Before I get to that, because I get into the ending of the film. If you wonder why I'm pausing, sometimes these films, I just... It's hard for me to remember the shit. Oh, there's the one when he first sees... I think it was the bait shop owner. His line is, You think fish have souls? That's an awkward, stupid fucking line. You think fish have souls? What, the souls of a foot? No, they don't have any feet. They have fins, you stupid fuck. I know what you mean by souls. I don't... I don't who gives who did a shit? We talking about killer fish? This is Piranha? Piranha 3, the spanking? Oh, you come to find out that the Jacob boys, they were ostracized from town because of stuff like they smelled, among other stuff. They looked at as outcasts. They don't belong here in town. Uh, then one of them, the slow one, which I don't remember what they said was the slow one. I don't know if it's supposed to be Psycho Sid or Kevin Nash or the other is the slow one. I don't know. They were accused of something of rape that they didn't commit. So they were lynched, and so after all this time, this is them getting revenge on the town. Third, well, I don't know, 30 or so years later. Oh, the when the, the mom, her kid, dies off screen, she tries to attack the sheriff, Kurt Angle. Like she goes up, and her arms are about this speed, but she slips and falls to the ground. She comes and she slips and falls to the ground, and then she gets back up. I don't think that slip was intended, but they kept it in. Uh, 
Oh, Hicks? They, they, not Corporal Dwayne Hicks, I wish. No, actually, I'm glad he's not in this. But... H.I.X. Hicks, who's the, the main guy behind the lynching, he's played by Bill Linsman. Bill Linesman? He's the guy who's the cemetery zombie in the original Die Living Dead. He's in there pretty much to have some bad dreams... And then Glacier and his buddies do the right thing. They realize what's going on with Supernatural. Just Kurt Angle doesn't believe in Supernatural. They grab the guy, bring his ass to the middle of the river, leave him there. This is where Kurt Angle's following them, grabs the two ghost chasers, one of them dies. And then as the three ghosts are there, the girl shoots Hicks. The ghosts chop up Hicks, and it's over. So Glacier was right. Kurt Angle was wrong. The only action is him and Kevin Nash get into a 30-second scuffle on the boat. Where Kevin Nash is choking him. Kurt Angle stabs him in the shoulder. Gets some rope, starts to lynch Kurt Kevin Nash. But then when Kurt Angle turns, Kevin Nash is gone. That is the only action, fight, any sort. Why in the blue hell would you make a horror film with four wrestlers, including Kurt Angle and Kevin Nash and, and such, and not have any fight scenes, wrestling moves, or any entertainment of that? Why in the fuck would you do that? I guess other than, hey, we can advertise it. If you're a wrestling fan, people will fucking rent it or buy it. I mean, they made a cover that's a flat out lie. He's not a fucking commando soldier. That fucking creature is not, whatever is not in the movie. Oh. And then you go back to the very beginning where the girl's narrating that after she's been kicked out of college. The sheriff, blah, 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 and let me go, and I didn't murder that guy. I killed the man that raped my mother. Because, oh yeah, Hicks is her grandfather. So you find out that Hicks was Bill Lindsman, was the girl's grandfather. Why was that put into it? And then also that she was there because killed her, or raped her mom. Why was this part of the movie? When she's at the very beginning of the film, for the first minute, she doesn't pop back to like 40 minutes in, they have like three scenes. That at the very end she shoots the guy when the guy was ready to get killed 30 seconds later with uh, these three Jacob boys and their axes. And then, oh, what a twist. It was her grandfather and also the guy that raped her mom. So what? What the fuck does that matter? What the fuck does that bring to the story? To the plot? Not a damn fucking thing. So Kurt Angle wanders around, does nothing but has a thumb up his ass and attends... The 30 second fight with Kevin Nash. And I wouldn't call it a fight. The three killers are like the covering shit. The, the gore is non existent. The kills are blase and boring. The movie meanders. If you want to see Kurt Angle be confused and wander around this fucking town going to bait shops and churches and bait shops and diners and bait shops again, be my fucking guest with lines like Do Fish Have Souls? Do androids dream of electric sheep? Does my ass itch? All questions no one gives a shit about. This whole bit at the end adds nothing to the narrative. Adds nothing. I dare anyone to watch this and not get the feel wanting to go to sleep.
get wrestlers and you don't even have them have fight scenes or action scenes. What the fuck was the point of Kurt Angle's even character? He does. He was wrong. Glacier was right. <laughs> he did what needed to be done and help save the, the town. Kurt Angle didn't accomplish a fucking thing. He would just sat at home drinking some, you know, milk. Some Muckamania. Think about, hmm, maybe I should retire from being a chef. Maybe I'll try the Olympics. And just fucking sat there and do nothing. It would have, the same fucking thing would have happened. The same shit would have been accomplished. And again, the bad acting, the bad acting, the awkward dialogue pauses, and the cheap production value, and the goofy looking villains. Someone said they look like avocados. They just look like shit dipped in shit. Hey, Psycho Sid as a psycho with an axe and Kevin Nash as a villain could be cool, but you give him nothing to do and no personalities and nothing to showcase. The third guy, I don't even know who the fuck the third guy was. Where is it funny? You get two wrestlers. I'm surprised they just did another fucking wrestler. I don't know. At the time, Re Repo Man. I don't know who the fuck they could have gotten for that. It's not scary. It's not exciting. It's boring as shit. So fuck this movie. Later. <laughs>